Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Open Computers Challenge. This is MCSH, and I hope you're having a fantastic day today. I know that I am, uh, you know, festive season. Anyway, so we're back at it again. Uh, I know it's been a while, but um, I've had a few busy months, and I couldn't really create content like this anymore for a while, but I think that has changed now, and uh, I hope I can put one of these out at least once a, once a week. And yeah, so let's start getting back to OCC again. And for those of you who don't know what this is about, we are uh, trapped in this house, and the only communication vessel that we have is this Gladys here. And if you're not allowed to go outside, we will die if we go outside. And um, we can only stay... There's a rule book, actually. Let me find the rule book. Ah. I thought there was a rule book. Anyway, we can go, only go outside if we... Um, sorry, we can only go places where the, the floor is tanks, the roof is tanks, the corners are logs like that and then the walls are made of glass we cannot go anywhere else and unless you know the requirement is met and we can do anything we want in this space right but we just can go outside so um we started creating things uh with gladys and i don't remember actually most of them but i think uh we have have quite different files. Uh, let's test that do a test to. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, we have a terminal at our disposal here. Yeah, that we can try to find uh, the things that we have. So, from what I remember, yeah, we created a library uh, called Move for ourselves. That would allow us to tell the robot what to do and what not to do. And uh, the move, uh, I guess, input, you know, a path like this. So this is turning it to turn left, go forward for three blocks, then down four blocks. And uh, we had the state. It will remember what it has done, and then it will try to come back again. You know basically undo its steps and we wrote all of that in the previous episode do check them out you'll enjoy them and yeah so we're we're going to try to keep doing that uh but to familiarize ourselves with the code again i'm just going to yeah i'm going to copy this file so copy um source test two into home source test three that you are. So this episode is just more like a reminder thingy. And you know, if we have time, we, we might work something there. You know, we, we, we did create a, a floor, <coughs> sorry. We did create a floor outside. Uh, I think that was the episode that where uh, my videos got corrupted, and that frustrated me, so I stopped playing for a while, but we're back at it, back at it again. Right. So, uh, we want Gladys to go outside, go there, and come back. That's it, right? And so the way we can do it, um, again, let's go here. So we created, uh, we created a file. This is called test3.dua. And... What it does is it's going to load a few packages for us, uh, just, you know, our address packages, the move package, the handlers package, you know, the reverse package, the reverse state package, and the robot itself. And then, you know, we're, we're just then telling it to move, save the state, and then reverse the state, come back. That's everything you're telling it. And the code is telling you to go forward once, go up, go forward again, and then turn right. Let's actually see what that does. So 
probably going to come here somewhere. All right, so source uh, uh, source test three. Forward, up, turn right. You know, it's backtracking steps. And it did that fine. And so from what I remember, uh, you know, if it finds something in its way, it's going to, you know, try to repeat it, repeat it to try to move past us. And yeah, as soon as it's fine way, it goes back. And if I block its way, uh, something. Was trying to run through run s got error block. Okay, I made a mistake there. Anyway, <laughs> I don't I don't remember really how things work in this uh, system that we have, but uh, yeah. So I thought I thought we have a system that would allow the robot to break blocks if they were blocking its path. Did we? Uh, let's see. The home source test with Lua. Oh yeah. So for it to do that, it has to have the handlers. Okay. That's easy to add. Uh, we just have to create an, an empty state. As it here. And pass the default handler there and here as well. So this move function, uh, let's take a look. So the move function optionally gets a callback. Where is the move function here? So uh, let's do it like this. Yeah. So it optionally gets a callback uh, as its input and a state. If the state is nil, it will create this state for us. And if the callback is nil, it will use the default handler. OK, that's good. Huh. Anyway, let's, let's not get uh, too much into it. Uh, there's probably something going on, and we will figure it out. But yeah, so, so what? it's trying to do is um it breaks the the move into these small actions and then calls the act function on them and what are these acts you might ask so we have f goes forward b goes back tr turns right tl turns left ta turn around s swing sd swing down let's u swing up and all these other things, right? So we get the, the command from there. Some, you know, uh, some of them we would announce it also, like the, the quick pick or move vacuum, right? And some of them are the default uh, actions created from the robot. So, yeah, and uh, it tries to call them if it wasn't successful. Uh, we will try to call the callback, and the callback will decide what to do with that information. So, for example, if you are, uh, let's look at the default handler. So, if if you create a solid object, then uh, you know going forward would be SF would be replaced with SF, and what was S? I don't know. Uh, only move. So S, I think it's uh swing or something. Yes, S is swing. So if you are trying to go forward and you saw a solid object, you will swing forward and then you will go forward, right? So let's let's see. Uh, the robot can break there with its hand, but uh, not on the side. So. It's fun to work. Um, test, no. Source test three. Okay. You see, uh, it broke it. 
and then gave us back the data. Right, well, in, in its inventory, but yeah. And uh, yeah, so so that was successful, more or less. Um, after one failed attempt, which is fine, you know, it happens. So uh, we wanted to go outside. So how do we go outside from here? We actually uh, can go to the the paper mode, right? And you can see that this is the way we've been getting in and out. Right, so uh, we want to come here and then go back. So if you see, we can come down two blocks, turn around and go forward for uh, maybe one, two, three blocks, and then off two blocks, and then we should be outside, right? So let's write it down. So we can come. We need to change this to down for. Two blocks, turn around, four bar three blocks, and then up four three blocks. Right? Yeah. And you might say that uh, oh it it, ha it is facing something here. What do we do? So you will automatically break that that break that uh, wooden plank on its way out out, but in the interest of uh, placing it back down, you can start by saying swing down like that. Okay. Or at least that's how I think we should be doing it. Let's actually look at here. So what we're doing here is we are turning left for all three blocks. Uh, Oh, we have an address out. Right, so let's see the address out. How does the address out work? Um, up four blocks and then put down. Oh, we are exiting through the roof. Okay. Okay. We can try that. So adjust it out and then don't reverse it directly. Instead, move that move address that home for some reason. Uh, we don't state. Oh, yeah, we don't need to give it the handler anymore because the handler was uh, being put automatically there. Right. So unless we want to change any behavior, we don't need to pass it out. I'm familiarizing myself with the code. You know, it's been a while for me. Don't be harsh on me, guys. We're just trying to have a fun time here. So okay. Uh oh, we're in spectator. Uh let's go back to revival. Right. Okay, let's do it once more. So we go out from the roof for some reason. And then and then what? This crash? I thought to index global add. What's add? Ah, add. Okay. Come on, man. Come on, man. You, you need to be better than that. Right. So that was a typo. And uh, we will try it again once more. We got the typo this time. So, um,. Go outside and it's address that out, not add that out. You have to be careful of CSH. And uh, yeah. And then come home. Right. So let's try that once more. So it is going up, breaking the block, placing it down so that we don't die. And then it starts going back home. Right. Okay, so um, so we wanted to do something for us there, and I think we can discard this estate. I really don't care about that. Uh, but you know, let's just keep. So we we will, we won't pass the state down for 
what we're going to do next. And uh, so, again, you want to go there, right? So we have to turn around, go forward two blocks, and then down one, two, three, four blocks, right? So, yeah. So we're going to turn around, forward two blocks, and then down four blocks. And, you know, I'm not going to explicitly write the reverse for this function, for these actions. The robot can figure them out on its own, and that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> I really like how we wrote this reverse state function, which is not that hard to do. You know, it's just uh, keep tracks of the changes to the x, y, z, and the orientation, and then reverses them one by one. But uh, it's pretty cool that we can do that, right? Okay. So survival. Um, we are stuck in our bed. Okay. Do it again. Breaking through the roof, coming outside, turning around, going down, and it started to reverse its action without us having to do anything. Yeah, I really liked how it broke it like that. Okay, so uh, you know we can can probably do something useful here. Uh, let's go back to survival. So you're interested in placing the glasses. Uh, you're interested in placing the glasses here. So one, two, three, four blocks this way, and then three blocks this way, and then four blocks this way, because you now we, we have to start expanding. This isn't enough room for us. This is no way of living, especially if you have a robot living as your roommate, right? So, uh, yeah, let's just start doing that. Uh, the first thing we want to do is to get Gladys over there, you know, uh, preferably hovering one space above the ground so it can place this item down. And the way we do it is after we go outside, right? So we are here. We want to turn left, go forward for one, two, three blocks, turn left, forward one block, and then down for how many that is. So that's one, two, three, four. Right. Let's program that in. Um, so we want to turn left, go forward three blocks, turn left, go forward one block, and then uh, again, I think, do we need to turn left once more? Let's turn right once more. Once, I guess, not once more. And then uh, down three blocks. Um, uh, I'm just going to verify the three blocks by looking at the, the address that we have. Uh, so if we go up four blocks to get to the roof, so if we come down two blocks, we would be hovering down. Uh, yeah. Yes, that makes complete sense to me. Right. And, uh, yeah, I think we can even write a for loop to do that for us, right? So let's, uh, let's take a peek at here. Yep. We can even feel the planks. Uh, you know, feel the glasses here, it would be. Um, but yeah, let's let's just go and see. Since it's because it's been a while, you know, I don't want to assume that it's going to work and find out that it's not. So it is coming outside, going right, turning, going down, hovering one space, and then coming back. That was perfect. So we need to block the glass for four blocks: one, two, three, and four. Four blocks forward, and then up one row, four blocks again, up one row, four blocks again, then come back. Right? Okay, that's doable. So, um, it was three rows for i in one, two, three. Do oh, actually, I don't remember. So, um is it inclusive Lua or not? I know. Let's let's just try it. So I have a Lua 
here. And uh, yeah, this is how I test things out, by the way, even doing my day job. But yeah, so for i from 1 to 3, do int i, then uh, and 1 to 2. Yeah, so it, it is inclusive. So it, inclu it goes from 1 to 3, including 1 entry. Okay, that's good. So uh, what do you want to do? So for three rows, you want to place down four blocks. One, two, four, two, and yes. So uh, we want to move and move, place down, you know, forward, and store everything in your state. Even back the state as well. Right, because we want to be able to come back in the end, right? And then, when you reach the end, you are going to move that move. Uh, so it's turning left there, but that was because you were making another pattern. Let me show you what pattern I'm talking about. So uh, the code you see there was going to there, turn left, come back, again, you know, repeating this pattern. We don't want to do that. We want to you know, go up once, turn back, and then do it again. All right. So up once is easy. Turn around is easy. And then do it, do it again. Oh. Keep the state as well. And I hope it works. I'm not going to edit anything out in case this fails. So let's see what happens. Uh, I'm, I'm going to slip real quick. Uh, Prevents mobs from spawning, spawning because you know uh, they're really special. Okay, so oh, something I forgot. So you can see that uh, Gladys is holding wooden planks, and that means that if we keep it like this, Right, so it's going to place down planks there, and we want it to place glass there. Uh, I'm not sure if that's enough. Right, so we have to tell it to change what it's, it is holding, right? And we don't want to um, put glass over here because then it will put a glass uh, in the ceiling for us, right? So um, we can we can look at how we change the pick. So uh, the quick pick would be select nine. Wait, what? Ah, so so for a cool peak, we, we we select a nine slot, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, the peak is there, so it will switch to there. It will equip, and then it goes back to select one. We don't necessarily want to do that. Uh, it is okay for us to just say robot that select two here to select glass. This time. Then in the end, robot that select one, right? And so as long as we have enough glass, that's going to be okay. Um, so we need twelve glasses, so it's fine, right? Oh, and if I recall correctly, so we had sixty-four backup glass and um, of tanks or something like that. I don't recall the exact rule because I have to go back and check. But uh, so we, we've created only 20 glasses so far, 25 glasses so far, which is enough for our scenario here. But you know, just uh, letting you guys know where the rest is coming from. Right. Uh, we gave our, ourselves uh, a chest, a crafting uh, state, uh, or I don't know, a crafting. A workbench, I don't know what that's called. And a bed, this cozy house, and a manual with uh, 64 wooden plank and 64 glass. 
and the rest we have gathered ourselves through a very long process of mining with Gladys, right? That's enough talk. Let's run the code and see what happens. So we want to run source test 3.ui. Wait, did I save it? Yeah. So it goes down. Two, three. Oh, it crashed. It is crashing. No. Ah. Okay. And I know why it is crashing. It had to come forward here. Ah, uh, I forgot to put a forward phase. But that's all, that's all right. That's all right. We don't need to stress over it. So we change that to two. We change that to two because one row has already been phased. And we will stop the execution. Oh, it has to start already. So we have to go back there. Um, let's create robot that select one first. Right. And um one, two, three, four. Okay, let's let's import the move. Do we have move? Uh, move the require leap move. Okay. Move the move and so one, two, three, four. Um go. One, two, three. okay, so go up, where are you? You're this level, so go up one, two blocks, yes. So up two blocks, and then forward, up, turn right, forward, turn left, and then forward how many? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, forward seven blocks, then turn left so that you will face us. And then, uh, for that, we are going to ask you to politely. Well, you know, we can just say to go down two blocks. Or four blocks, how many is that? Home. Home is, ah, oh, not that one. Home is down to put up down to down to put up down to and do that to go home. Ah, I wasn't facing the right direction. No, this is a disaster. All right, it's fine, it is really fine. So, uh, you have to. Move that move, go up for four blocks, forward two blocks, down two, put up, down two. Right. Let's go this way there. Right. So we have to cheat a little bit there. Because I don't want to reload the world over that mistake. Um, but yeah, it's okay. You know, the, the goal is to learn to use these robots, right? Okay, uh, so let's review the code once more and see where we went wrong. So, uh, and that's not a good thing. You know, we have to, we have to, fail, we have, to have a fail back in Canada. Or when things like that happen, right? Okay. Uh, so I think um, the real problem was that it wasn't going forward one block, and so there was nothing beneath it, and it couldn't place down the item, right? So the way to fix that is to add a forward block here and reduce that to two because we we've already placed down one row of glass, right? 
And now we're going to do it again. Um, yeah. So actually, let's be ambitious here. So the first row is going to finish here. The second row is going to finish back here. And the robot is going to be here pressing that ball, right? What we can do here is you can ask it to return to its uh, restart location, then go back here and repeat the process, right? And I'm actually going to do that. Um, so let's do that. Because, you know, we have created this really awesome thing and let's use it, right? Okay, so it will reverse the state to there, right? And so, uh, by reversing the state, we are essentially at our home. Now, I'm going to create a new state. So, I'm going to discard the old one by not passing it down to the D function. And this time, we are going to move one, two, three, four, five blocks forward, 10 left, and come uh, three blocks forward. So, five, 10 left, and then three blocks forward. So, we are at here this level here right and then we go down one two three blocks so then we go down three blocks and then we can do this again right yeah uh so how do we do that again for i one two three j from one to four do state equals move that move Based on one block, go forward, pass, it, pass the state in, and they could be move that move, come up once, turn around, forward once, pass the state in, and end. Right? So, doing that, uh, we, have, we have put down two walls. So, this would be one, and this would be the other one. Uh, and then, we come back again here and then go right. Yeah, let's go this way. Which would be turn left, forward for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. So the we we'll start again and then I'm just gonna copy this. Right. So we restart again. We don't need to do the last reverse state. Okay. We have two rows here. Uh, no, we have three rows, but it's uh, three wide, right? Yeah. So we. So how do we get there? I forgot what it was. So we turn left for about seven blocks, I guess. Let's recount. So here we turn left one. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, I'm glad I caught that. So, we aren't here, we are here. So we one step forward. Uh, so the robot in the previous step, the robot has to come forward one, two, three blocks forward, not four blocks, right? Uh, the, I put in five, wow. Let's see, so it would, it would be at this level, one, two, three forward, then turn left, and then, uh, you're at this level, right? In the middle, yeah. So one, two, three, yeah. Yes. And then three down. Right. And then for to get there, it will. Uh, in the end, we we told it to restart its location, which means that the robot is going to be here. Now we want it to come there, so we have to turn left once. And then forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this turn left and go forward seven. So it's here, standing at this position in the air. And then uh, again, we tell it to come down two blocks and turn right. Yes. So this is going to place down the walls of this building for us. I think. I hope. Let's see what happens. 
we have to exit the law and then run the code. Let's go to the spectator. Oh no. So it had one extra forward. I forgot about that one. But that's fine. We can place that. Yeah, you see, the extra forward rule is breaking down everything. Uh, we had to handle that, but it's okay. It is okay because we are safe and that's all that matters, right? Yeah, the robot is resetting itself for the second time. And then it's going to place the wall of the dispelling. Yep. Right, so let's let's replace the locks that it broke down the long way. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this script. So I actually have done this a long time ago. So let's create a folder in our home directory, and I call this uh, backups, right? And let's copy uh, the test tree. To the backup folders, and we call it um, what should we call it? Vault, right? Yeah. Uh, so first of all, thank you for breaking down my room. I'm going to take that back from you because I don't trust that you're going to keep everything. Um, Right, so it has to fix the plank there and the logs here. So the plank there is easy. So you just, after you're on the roof, you turn left, you go forward two blocks, you turn left, you go forward one block, and then you do your thing, right? So, um, yeah, so turn left, forward three blocks, turn left, forward one block, and place down, I guess. Yep. And you have to select the appropriate uh, thing here, which, wait, is there a log there or is there a plank there? There's a log. So yes, so you have to select the log. And then, um, so turn left, forward, turn left. Okay. You turn around, you go forward for, Four blocks, so you place that down. You turn around forward four blocks, and then you come down one block, face down, up, face down. Right? I think so. Uh, and then we don't need to do any of those. Right. Then we select the turn back and then reset state. Yeah, and it should work. I'll tell you what, I really like how we uh, wrote the escape restart. Uh, otherwise, you know, this would have been a nightmare to, to develop. Assume that you had to go there and write the code to come back. That's That would have been a nightmare, right? Okay, so what's the file now? Let's test three. So, yeah, Oh no. Oh no. And it crashed. <laughs> of course it did because because I I can't count. Man, what's wrong with me today? Uh okay, once more. <laughs> I really can't count. So just a question, did you have to move here? Yeah, we do. We're gonna do require every time. Okay. 
Gladys. Uh, turn around, go forward for one, two, three, four blocks. So four blocks. And then go up once. So you're here now. Turn left. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna, you know, follow it. Ah, uh, no. So at here you turn right, you come, you come forward for one, two, three blocks. Turn left and then forward three blocks and then come up again, forward one block. And then you have to come home, which is down twice, place up, down twice. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I forgot that you were selecting the other thing. Okay, that's fine. So you will uh one, two, three. Move, move up for two blocks. One, two, two blocks, yep. And you know you know what? Let's let's select the first slot. Hey, right. yeah. And then one, two, so go up for three blocks. Come down once, place up, and down twice. And that should fix that. Yep. Wow, so the problem was that we went one, no, just. One extra block for it was enough. Yep. Um, I'm just gonna verify the other one. So the, the other one is one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's save that and then select the other one. Come back. Yeah. And you have to have three logs there. You do. Fantastic. Uh, okay. Please work this time. Okay, that actually worked. That actually worked. <laughs> okay, so the last thing would be to fill in the the corners for those two places, which is you know again not that hard if you can count. So from here we turn left, you go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're at this point. You turn left once more. So let's 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 write that. Uh, turn left. You come forward seven blocks. Turn left. You forward once. You go down. Okay. So you go. You're here. You go down. Oh, you're actually hovering. So one, you'd be here. Two, you'd be here. Three. So you come down three blocks. And then, uh, yeah, you come down three blocks, you place down, up, place down, up, place down, up, place down. How many is that? One, two, three, four, which is correct because that has to be of size four. Yep. And then you will restart your state. And you will do it again, but here you will turn right and then instead of coming forward once, you would come forward. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I didn't mean like this. So we can't. We can have two different states, right? Nothing is stopping us from going forward to there. 
uh, which would be here hovering. Yep. So we we'll call this P state, not a state, P state. Right. Then from P state, you uh, do it like this. Then you have placed this column. Right, and then you you're starting yourself, so you would be facing this way again. Yes, because you know we are only restarting the state. We are not restarting the state, right? Which is fine. So then, uh, what you want to do is and right and forward three blocks. I think uh, we will count that. <laughs> I don't trust myself with that anymore. I'm just always going to count things twice now. So forward three times. So here, um, turn right, one, two, three times, and then down four, four, uh, four times. So you are at this level. One would be here, two, three, no, down three times. Yeah, that's fine. And then you're going to restart the state, which is coming from this move, and then restarting this state, which is coming from that move, right? And this should work. Let's see it in action. Oh, actually, it will work if you have if you give it enough hook, right? Yeah, and we have also we are also switching the uh, to to output before doing any placings. So that should be interesting. All right. Do the thing. I can't believe it actually worked without any problems. I feel like, you know, given how this episode has gone so far, it should have tried to place it at least 10 times and then again fail after that for some reason. I don't know. But yeah, so we, we, did, create, we did put everything there uh, in the correct order. So now we have to fill in these with tanks. Okay, we can certainly do that, right? That should be easy. So first off, let's let's do this one. Okay, I'm going to uh, create another copy of this file and uh, call the call it the columns, and yeah. So. Again, you come outside, you select, uh, you don't have to select anything. That's right. We're dealing with tanks here, right? Yeah. So you come outside, you turn left, forward two blocks, or three blocks, forward two blocks. Right. Turn left, forward two blocks, the rest. Move this, move this, move this, and that. Right. Forward three blocks, and we are at this state. And then we have to turn left and forward once more. Right, so turn left, forward once more. And I guess we need to place down four blocks. Place and move forward four blocks. And you know what? I think I think it's time for us to create a new function and I'm just gonna uh, what I really want to do is this place down forward and then four like that I really want to do that um, but I'm worried that that's going to cause too many troubles right yeah But that's going to be fun, though, isn't it? Like, 
that's something we can actually do. Or at least I hope that we can do. But you know, for now, I'm going to create a new function called PDF, which stands for place down and forward, not the other PDF, might know. And uh, we are going to create a function for it. So the function would be ah no, it's going to be too much of a hassle to do that, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, since this episode is going has gone long enough, uh, we will just do it like this: place down, forward, and then do that forward. with the magic of text. Uh, but in the next episode, we are going to work something out for that. And please do let me know if you have any ideas uh, for how you want to handle that, right? Okay, uh, so let's place the planks there. Oh, we're going to break that again. Direction. Man, come on, Sajid, so pay attention. Okay, you know what? You know what? So instead of just place down, up, and so down, up, and F. Uh, no. Down, up, F. So down, up, and then down, up. Right. So I'm just gonna break all of those blocks, and then we're we're going to call it an episode. Uh, maybe in the next one we will move out of this building. Because keep in mind, we we also have to break down this this wall over there. Uh, yeah. Well. While it does that, let me thank you all for thank you for joining me and counting with me and you know building that really insignificant extension to the house with me. And hopefully in the future episodes we're going to uh, move out of this house into the next room. I really look forward to that. Please do let me know if you have any suggestions. Uh, you know, some of the other ones that you have gave me so far has been really helpful, like this state one uh, was a suggestion. Uh, the move function was a suggestion in the previous series. And, you know, uh, it's really, really awesome that you guys are, that you guys are supported like this. I really appreciate you. Have a great day and have a, fast, have a festive holidays. Bye-bye.